Hey guys, Killer6, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Hunger Games on Borderlands 2. This is actually a really easy game to play. Now, a couple things you're going to need. You're going to need Super Fun Time Engine. There will be a link in the description below showing you how to play this. You also need some friends to play with. Generally speaking, it's best to have a full lobby. Uh, one person plays as the host, which in this case is me, playing as a breakneck banshee, carrying the loot that I'm going to drop for these guys to, to try and kill each other with, and then have all the other guys join in as brand new level one Kriegs fresh out of the box now once they get into the game have them go sell their gear and turn off their badass rank and then you turn on super fun time engine you want to go down to the co-op players option at the very bottom of this and you want to modify their levels just by clicking on where it says level one for each player double click on that and type in 50 just exactly as you see me doing here on screen 50 alright and then after that I like to also click on their experience level and uh, see how that uh, or experience points rather double click on that and I like to change it to 3.6 million just because it's easy for me to remember it's also going to make them ding up to level 51 which in turn makes their health go where it needs to be Hello. I've noticed that just switching them to level 50 doesn't fix their health the way it needs to be and that becomes a problem <laughs> so do this and then uh, there's going to be one more step after this, which is really pretty simple as well. Um, so get them all to ding here. Okay, now what we can do is we can go ahead and um, let's minimize this menu here. And let's go up to the one that says skill points. And then we're just going to double click on the one that they have. Each of them just has one. And we're going to change that to 25. And the reason for this is we need them to spec down and to fuel the rampage. Now the other trick is the main other rule is that in addition to uh, specking into fuel the rampage is they cannot spec into pull the pin or light the fuse because both of those can damage enemies or teammates and what we want to happen is once you die you're dead and you shouldn't damage the other teammates so on the right hand side of the screen here you can see the list of the rules which anytime you're in one of my games you can just type in uh, exclamation point hunger and that will pop up in the in the chat for you to read alright so once you uh, get everybody set up and you got everybody to turn their, their heads up display off which I've got a video at the uh, end of this uh, showing you how to do that you want to put everybody in a certain position on the map I like to start one person at Moxie's, one person at Marcus's and one person at Dr. Zed's and then you type 3, 2, 1, go and have them rush to the center of the map now they don't necessarily have to run to the center of the map but that's where the action is going to be and as you can see, uh, somebody's already picked up a sniper rifle. Uh, having said that, it's not necessarily the best strategy to pick up a weapon, uh, especially with Krieg, because you can do a fair amount of uh, melee damage without holding a weapon. So, uh, you know, not always is it going to be ideal to pick up a weapon. Now, it's going to depend on what gear you choose to drop. And as you can see here, we have our first fatality. Now, what he has to do is tap out and stay at the respawn uh, point. That way he doesn't uh, distract the other two players. Alright, so that's basically all there is to this. It's a pretty simple, straightforward game. Join with a level 1, brand new Psycho. Uh, disable your badass rank, get rid of all your gear. Not that that really matters. You're, you're not going to have any gear that's really going to affect anything. Um, then the host, which in this case was me, levels you to level 50 and follows the other cheat engine steps that I showed. And um, yeah, then on top of that, it's just basically everybody for themselves <laughs> it's just pretty quick easy fun little game to set up um, ironing out the rules was the toughest part for this whole thing but uh, I think we've got it down to a, a pretty good science here we will play a couple games in a, about a 10 minute uh, span so worked out really well for us so let me know what you guys think if you guys uh, have any other ideas for additional rules or changes let me know in the comments uh, otherwise I'll be playing this tonight so if you want to stop by just head over to my twitch channel twitch.tv slash KI11ER6. Take care, guys.